So uh, I'm going to hustle for votes. <laughs> uh, uh, partly because while I have to say this verso app is, is a really impressive piece of kit, there are a lot of questions on there that are not being asked. And those are questions about what it's like to be young and female in London. And uh, I think that if we talk more uh, about what it's like to be young and female in London, we, uh, well, female, we, when I, you're absolutely right. What we want to do as part of the Women's Equality Party is to give voice to women from all backgrounds. Because too often when we talk about women in politics, we talk about them right at the back of the manifesto, like they're a special interest party, and they're all white and look like me. And that's not the case. So I'm here to say that we are part of a party which is building a voice for women who are doubly, trebly discriminated against on grounds of gender, BME background, disability, LGBT background. We want to hear your voices and we want to hear your voices in London. It was very striking to me filling in the uh, questions on Verso that I didn't get an opportunity to talk about the pay gap in London. I didn't get an opportunity to say that women in London uh, have got a 23% pay gap when it comes down to uh, uh, trying to earn the same as men. I didn't get an opportunity, while it was quite right to talk about knife crime, I didn't get an opportunity to talk about rape in London. The instances of rape in London are well above knife crime. 4,000 rapes in London last year, so there's 3,000 stabbings. There is rightly an outcry about knife crime. I think there should be an outcry about rape, and about sexual assault, and about young women feeling safe in this city, and I think that needs to be the top of the political agenda. The other thing I think that we should be doing, I didn't get an opportunity to talk about this on that virtual app either, is about creating a respectful society in London. We need to be creating an education system that teaches young people how to respect each other, that teaches young people about consent, that teaches young people that what we see out there, you don't have to have it that way. You can make a change. And I'm really sorry that I haven't had time to talk to more of you. I'm going to stay as long as anybody wants to talk to me. I know I was given two minutes. I'm not going to try really hard not to overrun. Uh, for the young woman who was speaking earlier, uh, I think that was such an important speech to me. One of the first things I did when I... Um, I took over as leader of the Women's Equality Party was to go and visit the jungle in Calais. I wanted to go and speak to the young women and the children in that camp who are not being helped. I wanted to speak to the young women and the young girls in that camp who sit in a lawless environment every single night and nobody hears them. I wanted to give them a chance to have their voices heard and that's precisely what I want to do for young people, for young men, for young women, the people who are not getting their voices heard. I think that anybody who's running for mayor is not doing the job properly unless that's a big, big, big part of the job. So thank you very much for this.